This is kind of a long saga, and I hate long sagas, sagas. Especially when it involves us, I'll try to keep it short. Er, that's shorter. What is the secret of the never-ending story? Six and a half or nearly seven years ago after being a PC desktop tower user, that's a Windows-based system, Shelly and I were at Best Buy eyeballing computers and a what appeared to be small little computer laptop had grabbed my eye. It was a Dell, a 15-inch Inspiron, 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 Core i7, what was considered fast for its time. This thing couldn't possibly do much. I mean, after all, it was so tiny. Of course, not all like the monster of a make that Frankenstein of a tower system that friends had tweaked for years to keep running that I'd had. See, I'm not a monster. Now, any story needs a disclaimer, and this one is no different. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. I am not a techie. I am a firefighter and SWAT medic. Get me near the scene and I know what to do to bring back order and stop the mayhem. Get me around a computer and I can usually figure out how to turn it on. I'm what you'd call a visual and tactile learner. Show me over and over again and I'll eventually get it. Okay, maybe trainable, not as much uh, educable. So don't stray too far from whatever project, because I'm probably going to need your help to get out of the mess I've made. About a million what seem to be like stupid questions and redos, I'll eventually get it, and I will dive deep into it until it will seem like I'm an old hat at it. Now, speaking of old, change and technology go hand in hand, and for the young, more nubile minds, Adapting to those changes seems much easier than for those of us who first learned about computers in school, which took up more square footage than your average house would, and would only do simple computations. The computer language then was HiComp and Fortran, which required reams of punch cards with the instructions hand punched by you. One piece of chaff, look it up, and you would have to go back through it all to correct the one mistake and get that answer you could have done longhand in 20 minutes or so. Do it right, and the answer may be had in a day. Nope, computers were not my favorite subject. So you can see how this sparkly little laptop had my curiosity. Yep, we bought it and took it home for me to learn how to use. Since I've had friends and their kids show me how to upgrade this bright little object to an SSD drive, new battery, and fans to keep it relevant. It had grown on me and I really liked it. Fast forward three and a half or so years and Shelly and I had made one of the biggest decisions of our lives and that was to enter the world of travel. I had this idea that I would document our new lifestyles with the help of my now aging Dell. We started out slowly and my first videos took nearly a month to produce. I tried a stack of different programs, like Corel, DaVinci Resolve, and Shelly even bought Final Cut Pro for her Mac. Yep, she's one of them. And she does like her Mac. It's just that change thing for me. I finally settled on the Adobe Suite. Back then, you owned it and it stayed on your computer, not in the cloud. YouTube has become the Fix-It channel for me, and this is the way I learned to use the program. Cheat sheets all over, lots of books, but watching someone actually do it was the biggest help. Hours upon hours replaying the latest Premiere Pro videos till I could just eke out a two or three minute video. I look back at them now and are almost embarrassed how poor they are, even though I was quite proud of them then. The little computer is struggling with the demands of the programs and files, but it wasn't the bottleneck I was, still timidly learning and relearning how to make a video. 
we had planned to get a newer, faster computer with an actual graphics card slash processor, but had so many things coming at us so fast that it was perpetually put on a back burner. I was now waiting sometimes 8 or 10 hours for a video to render before it could be published. The new computer was inching higher and higher on the need list. I was eyeballing. This don't get your hopes up too high. I was dressed for time. No problem. An MSI creator, but they seemed way overpriced and seemed to have issues with the offshore supply chain problem. What I wanted in this brand would cost nearly $5,000. There's no way we could justify that. And besides, the U.S. importers kept giving us double talk. One of our friends told us to take another look at Dell. Seems they had come out with their own version of the Creator, and it's easily owner upgradable. Well, it did seem to have everything that I was looking for in a sleek case with a 17-inch screen, and best of all, at about half the price. Can you see where this is going? We ordered it just a little over a week ago and had it shipped to our friend's house. Chuck brought it over today, but not before letting me know that something was amiss inside. He said it sounded like glass rattling around inside the box. My heart sank. A few hours later, he stopped by with the offending package. We opened it slowly and carefully. A deep breath, a sigh, and what a relief. It seems that a large desiccant pack in the outer box had broken open and that was what was rattling around inside. For the next couple of days, I will fumble through trying to transfer all of my files over to the new machine. Oh yeah, did I mention? It came with Windows 11, something else new to learn. I sure hope that this thing is all that it's been marketed to be. I will say, for now, I'm very happy to be the proud owner of one of Dell's new flagship Creator XPS 17s. Who knows, maybe you can teach an old dog an occasional new trick. Stick around, this could get entertaining. See you next week on Our License to Travel. Travel safe. Now, this is the old and busted. New and shiny, old and busted. This is the inner box that it came in. XPS. And that is the brand new computer. With any luck, I've got this right, and we'll see if I can actually get a video out with it. Thank you guys very much for watching.